Okay, so on this international truck, what we were having, we were having an issue with the gauges. Both the bolts gauges for the batteries on the inside of the truck kept on going back and forth, back and forth, sometimes killing the truck. And the first thing that came to my mind is batteries. And of course, the first thing that I thought of, hey, do you have an O'Reilly's near your location? And he said, yeah, I sure do. I said, okay, take off, wore them off. Take them down to O'Reilly's, have O'Reilly's test them, and everybody tells me the same thing all the time. I have a, I have a charger at home. I can charge them, guys. Once again, O'Reilly's Auto Parts pay close to five, six thousand dollars for their battery chargers and testers. It's free. They don't charge you a penny. Okay. So I asked them to take them up to O'Reilly's and get them tested and get them charged. Guess what happened? Okay, so he took them to O'Reilly's, got them tested, and I believe two of them came out bad. One of them was uh, basically low on charge, so he went ahead and replaced all four batteries, but then the drama didn't stop there. There was more. Okay, so then I asked him, okay, buddy, there has to be more to this story, so I asked him, have you changed your alternator? He was like, no. I asked basic questions. How long have you had the truck? I think about eight months or so he just started his business so I said okay so let's run the basics what are the basics batteries alternators starters wires so then guess what we found well guess what he found after I told him to go look around as you're looking at it right here under that's what we found so at this point I asked him okay here's what we're gonna do uh, it sounds like you're having an alternator issue so the way we're going to fix this we're going to go ahead and uh, clean all that up because if you take it to a shop, uh, you'll probably be spending a little bit of extra money. So if you can fix this yourself, this would be awesome. So uh, he went ahead and cleaned it up and uh, this is what it looks like. So once he cleaned everything up, uh, we tested the truck again. Truck ran good. Uh, the voltage has not moved ever since and that's where our main issue was. The alternator was not doing what it was meant to do with all the corrosion there. Basically, he put WD-40 on it, let it soak down, uh, brought out a brush, cleaned it up, and boom, bada beam, bada boom, there it is. So once again, please, before you go anywhere else, check your batteries, get your batteries tested, and then go from there. Once you have been sure that your batteries are good, then you're good to go. But without us testing the batteries and making sure we had good batteries, we were not able to have been able to fix the rest of the problem there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.